You might be surprised to know that coronavirus is not new. Human coronavirus was first identified in the 1960s. There are seven known types of human coronaviruses, which are named for the crown-like spikes on their surface. Four types are very widespread and cause mild to moderate respiratory infections, like the common cold. Two types are much more dangerous but relatively rare, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, known as SARS, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, known as MERS. The seventh type is a new coronavirus, recently discovered in China, often referred to as novel coronavirus. It causes a disease known as COVID-19. This is a unique virus with unique features. This virus is not influenza. We are in uncharted territory. We are still learning a lot about this virus, but we know that it is spreading quickly throughout the world and can be quite severe, which is why there is legitimate cause for concern. Not panic, but concern. The virus spreads from person to person through droplets released into the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Those droplets can land in the mouths or noses of others within a six-foot radius. It may also be possible for someone to become infected by touching a surface with the virus on it and then touching their own mouth or nose. Eight out of ten people that get sick will have mild symptoms. Others, in particular the elderly and immunocompromised, may become very ill and not recover. Symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure and include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. If anyone suspects that they may have COVID-19, they should contact their health care provider immediately. The virus is diagnosed only through an official testing kit. There is no specific antiviral treatments or vaccine currently available. That is why prevention is essential you can reduce your risk substantially through some simple strategies. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home if you are sick. Wash your hands frequently for 20 seconds at a minimum. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Sneeze or cough into a tissue and discard it immediately. Or if necessary, sneeze or cough into your arm. Clean and disinfect often. Do not purchase face masks unless you are ill. They are not effective for prevention and are needed for healthcare settings. In the unlikely event of a quarantine, make sure your home is prepared. Specifically, have a two week supply of water and food. And be sure to stock up on your prescription medications and other over the counter medicines you count on. Remember that this is a rapidly evolving situation and when in doubt, contact your local health department or visit the CDC website. You can also call the Kentucky COVID-19 hotline at 1-800-722-5725 or visit the official Kentucky COVID-19 website at kycovid19.ky.gov.